Justin Raleigh, it's Nick Petro with your routine weekly briefing for Central North Carolina uh, on this Monday, February the 19th, 2024. This is actually a holiday. Um, so we have uh, the holiday is Washington's birthday, um, President Washington's uh, birthday, otherwise uh, also sometimes referred to as uh, President's Day. So uh, let's take a quick look at the um, uh, current satellite and uh, current conditions and a couple things I'll point out. We've got temperatures climbing into the low 50s here across central North Carolina. These numbers you see are temperatures. Uh, look at uh, look at this band of clouds. I think it's pretty neat because um, this, this band of clouds is also associated with a cold front. Now, what do fronts do? They separate air masses, different air masses. So look how we have temperatures in the uh, 40s and 50s across the Carolinas versus 60s, uh, mid 60s in Bermuda. Look at even down in Florida, you see mid 50s in central Florida, while you have 70s uh, in the Bahamas and 80s in the Caribbean. So this front pushed all the way down to Miami. Um, uh, another thing um, I want to draw your attention to is this big swirl off the West Coast. And a couple things I'll point out here. Um, first of all, temperatures really show a nice difference and point out that front. But look at dew points. Dew point is a measure. Uh, basically of the moisture in the air. And these dew points are in the teens and 20s across the Carolinas. Uh, look as you, as you go south. Again, this always fascinates me when I see a cold front push all the way to South Florida. You have uh, 30s and mid 40s and upper 40s dew points in North and Central Florida and 50s and 60s dew points, uh, Miami and Bahamas. So you could see what a potent front uh, that is. Uh, really dry air across much of the country. Uh, not much weather-wise going on across much of the country until you go out to the West Coast and uh, you could see this swirl. Let me put on here the Storm Prediction Center severe thunderstorm outlook today. I'll remove the temperatures and you could see there's a slight risk there across much of uh, Sacramento's area there, which is uh, really, really interesting as I put this into a loop. You can see, uh, you know, that's pushing uh, some unstable air from, from off the coast there. Um, uh, and a lot of jet energy wrapping around uh, this low here that's going to impact um, uh, parts of California. So uh, really kind of interesting weather going on. Um, certainly, um, you know, that's why we all enjoy the weather. It's fascinating. So anyway, um, for us, just quiet weather. Look at this. Uh, not much in the way of cloudiness. Uh, very little on the radar. Um, I do. Yes, I do have radar loaded. Um, and let me remove the clouds. And you can see. There's just not much here going on across much of the country. These these little showers here off the coast uh, really aren't going to amount to much of anything uh, in terms of you know no impacts to us here. Um, not an issue. So uh, all in all, uh, things are looking pretty quiet. Uh, I do want to call your attention right from the get go that uh, we are fast approaching the 2024 Severe Weather Preparedness Week for North Carolina. Remember, we do this every year, the first full week of March to um, promote severe weather preparedness as the months of March, April, and May, and even into June is typically the peak of the severe weather season uh, in North Carolina. So, you know, we don't wanna wait to prepare until the, the bad weather is approaching. We wanna make sure we do this ahead of time. And, and a big part of uh, severe weather preparedness week is practicing what you would do. If a tornado, for instance, uh, was getting ready to hit you, remember uh, the the sort of the peak of the tornado season is the month of April. So, um, so we want to make sure that folks are ready. So we're going to have our annual statewide tornado drill Wednesday, March six at nine thirty. If there's severe we actual severe weather that day, we will uh, we'll, we'll kind of postpone it until Friday that week. But uh, we haven't ever had to do that as far as I could remember. So. Um, so anyway, um, this when uh, not this Wednesday, a couple of Wednesdays from now, Wednesday, March 6th at 9.30 will be our statewide tornado drill. So uh, this is important for businesses, for schools, for, um, you know, public agency, government agencies, uh, all businesses, really, um, everybody, <laughs> even folks at home, uh, take, a, take some time to practice identify where your tornado uh, shelters are and um, make sure you have ways to receive warnings you know just think about it get 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 uh, 
get your stuff together for the severe weather season in terms of uh, tools and, and capabilities you would need to uh, stay safe during the severe weather season. You can learn more about Severe Weather Preparedness Week at this uh, website here, weather.gov slash Raleigh slash severe prep. And actually, I'll show you that's what this website looks like. Severe Weather Preparedness Week. Here's our Severe Weather Preparedness Week website. And there's all the topics, the weekly topics. So you could learn about severe storms and tornadoes, severe alerts, how to get alerts, tornadoes, hail, wind, lightning risks, flooding risks, how to make a plan. There's even information for Spanish speaking and deaf of, and hard of hearing uh, folks uh, with some sign language uh, and safety information. So definitely take advantage of all the resources here on weather.gov slash Raleigh slash severe prep, okay? All right, again, tornado drill, Wednesday, March 6th, 9.30, all right? Today is, uh, as I mentioned, uh, Washington's birthday, and, and for the holiday today, it'll be sunny, near normal, high temperatures, just a pleasant day. In fact, the weather pattern uh, is fair weather and mostly seasonable temperatures today right through the daytime Thursday. High pressure will be in control of our weather, giving us that fair weather. We will have a cold front finally getting here, on Friday. Ahead of that, uh, we might see some very light rain, and I should underline in bold very light because we're talking a tenth of an inch of rain or less. If it rains at all, a lot of places will just stay dry with the passage of this front. Now, the first of the raindrops, if you do get rain, uh, may arrive late on late in the day Thursday, maybe Thursday night. Uh, it'll The chance for rain, uh, albeit a low chance, will um, a, a chance for low amounts, that is, will continue through uh, through about midday Friday and before it all clears out. And then high pressure builds back in, giving us mostly dry weekend in early next week. So all in all, a low impact uh, weather week. Dry today, dry tomorrow, dry Wednesday. Most of Thursday will be dry. It's painted light green for Thursday night. And then it gets out of here by midday Friday. And looking at the five-day total, is the lightest shade of green. And if you go to the first lightest shade of green, that's 0 .0 Z, no, 0 0.01 to 0 0.10. That's a tenth of, of an inch or less of rain. So clearly you could see we're not really predicting a whole lot of rain with that event on Thursday night and Friday. No severe thunderstorm potential for the next uh, eight days. No flash flood potential for the next couple of days. And here is our, uh, our uh, very popular hazardous weather outlook little uh, bar there and colors and you could see a lot of green means good uh, low impact low risk level you're probably wondering why well, do you see some yellow what's that all about that's the fire weather category basically saying the air is going to be really dry friday saturday and sunday um, and probably a little breezy uh, so it's a very limited risk right now it's not a, a major concern we'll address that as we get later this week thursday briefing we'll highlight that more but all in all um, you know, even if there is a risk, it's pretty limited at this point in time. So a lot, mostly green and no major concerns here this week for central North Carolina. Uh, looking to the following week. So if you're wondering, well, what about next week? Not this week, but next week, we're talking above normal temps and at or above normal precipitation. All right. So that wraps things up for today's briefing. Fair weather, mostly seasonable temps today through the daytime Thursday. A cold front will move through on Friday. It might give us some very light rain across central North Carolina, maybe as early as late Thursday, Thursday night, and early Friday, but amounts will be less than a tenth of an inch if it rains at all. And then we're looking at mostly dry weather the next weekend, or this, I guess this upcoming weekend, we should say, and early, and early the following week. All right, and during that time, no weather hazards are expected. All right, so that wraps up. This uh, Monday, weekly briefing for Central North Carolina.